Radioactive lakes, rivers that can boil you alive, and lakes that turn things to stone. These all sound like something straight out of a sci-fi fantasy, but they're real places on Earth. And today, we're going to take you there. Number 7. Shanae Tempishka, The Boiling River Starting off our list as one of the most bizarre, scientifically questionable places on Earth is the Shanae Tempishka, also referred to as The Boiling River. Take one step into this four-mile-long Amazonian river and you will be boiled alive from the inside out. The river, located in Peru, reaches temperatures of over 91 degrees Celsius. Sure, waters of these temperatures are not unusual, but they are usually fed by a nearby volcano. The Shanae Tempishka River, however, doesn't have a volcano in sight. So what does cause this phenomenon? Scientists believe that cracks in the fault lines allow the boiling hot water from underneath the earth to heat the river, but this is really only just a theory. To date, the Shanae Tempishka River is a mystery and one that should be avoided if you don't want to turn into soup. Number 6. Lake Karache Moving on from rivers to lakes, we move on to Lake Karache, the most polluted place on the planet. The problem stems from the pollution of the nearby nuclear facilities and the radioactive material that was dumped there by the Soviet Union. And if you think Chernobyl is bad, this place makes Chernobyl look like a great area to set up a family home. Just how polluted is the lake? In the 1990s, if you were to stand on the shores for one hour, you would be exposed to a radiation dose of over 600 Ronjin, which would pretty much seal your fate. Today, the site is covered mostly in concrete, but is still considered to be one of the most dangerous places on the planet. Number 5. The Petrifying Well We all know that witches can't really turn men into frogs, but a well that can turn you into stone? Surely that can't be real either, or can it? In Narrowsboro, North Yorkshire lies a well where anything that it touches, it turns into stone. Of course, the process isn't immediate, but leave something under the trickling water for three to five months and you will return to a statue. What causes this unbelievable phenomenon? For years, it was believed that the well was cursed by a witch. But scientists nowadays tribute the so-called spell to a high mineral content within the water. Just as stalactites are formed inside of caves, the mineral within the water can create a shell over anything it touches. Number 4. The Blue Pond of Hokkaido Starting to think twice about swimming in strange waters? Don't worry, not every water mass on our list is dangerous. Hence, the Blue Pond of Hokkaido, also referred to as the Kool-Aid Colored Lake. Just one look at the lake and there's no doubt as to why it received its nickname. But where did the lake get its unique electric blue shade that changes colors with the seasons? Scientists theorize that the unique colors of the water come from the high concentration of aluminum hydroxide that is in it. The water itself, of course, is clear, but when the particles reflect the sky, the water suddenly takes on its Kool-Aid color. And the best part? It's safe for a visit! Number 3. Kauai Jin Kool-Aid blue water is one thing, and it might not be that difficult to believe, but blue lava? Yes, it's real and it comes from the Kawaijin volcano in Indonesia. Built into the volcano is a sulfur mine where no flashlights are needed at nighttime. Rather, workers within the mine are guided by a glowing blue light that trickles down the walls like lava. But don't be fooled, the name the Blue Lava Volcano is actually quite deceiving. Despite the name, the blue trickle isn't actually lava, it's sulfur. According to scientists, when the sulfuric gases within the mine heat up, they shoot blue flames up to 5 meters in the air. These gases then condense into liquid sulfur, which then trickles down the walls, giving the appearance of a neon blue lava. Number 2. The Ringing Rocks of Pennsylvania Okay, so you've just turned your teddy bear into stone, and now you hit it. What do you hear? Probably not the sound of a cymbal. But when you hit the ringing rocks of Pennsylvania, that is exactly the sound that you hear. And if that's not strange enough, nobody knows why the rocks are where they are. Located in a rock field that occupies over 7 acres, the rocks have absolutely no reason to be there. Why do they make the sound of music? Nobody knows. Not even science has solved this one yet. Number 1. The Never-Ending Light Storm We've all heard of the never-ending story, but what about the never-ending light storm? For in western Venezuela, there is a storm that rarely ever ends. 
The lightning and thunder show starts around 7 p.m. at night and lasts until the wee hours of the morning. And though it doesn't storm every night, the storms persist for over 300 days each year. And with each minute that passes, the storm produces an average of 28 strikes of lightning. There are several different theories as to why this show takes place, but the most common explanation focuses on the combination of the topography and atmospheric conditions of the area. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more videos.